Hey guys, it's Nikki with This Robin's Nest. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how I did my meal planning for the week and I'm just gonna post these every week to keep myself put in check because it was hard for me to even get this done with so much going on this week. But it's really important for me to start doing this. Um, I ran a rummage sale, which took up a majority of the weekend when I intended to do my meal planning. Um, which was really fun, by the way. It was for a local um, nonprofit, and we did really well, um, and we collected a lot of items and sold stuff, so it was fun. But it didn't leave me much time for my meal planning, but I wanted to start this. So I'm going to show you guys what I did. But in the future, it is my intent to show you the groceries that I picked up and eventually the meals that we make throughout the week, but we'll get there. Like I said, I'm a newbie, and so I'm going to show you where I'm at this week. So I took and made kind of like a master meal list, barely. I just wrote out some of our favorites so that I could create a weekly meal plan, which is what I did right here. So here's my weekly meal planner. Now I set out the breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the week for all three of us. It would vary a little bit, but pretty much what you see on the paper. So for example, Monday morning, cold cereal, um, some tortillas that I fry up in the frying pan with um, melted Parmesan on them, kind of making it, you know, that crusty kind of cheese. And then I squirt some fresh lemon over them and then we fill it with avocado folded up like a taco so it's just a really light lunch and then for dinner ham corn on the cob mashed potato tuesday um because i'm making today is um going to be a day that i make banana bread so we will have it tuesday for breakfast um chicken sandwich with blueberries for lunch fried rice for dinner <laughs> And this might be an odd mix to some of you guys, but like I said, I'm just getting started. So my the most important thing to me is to start having a routine of doing this, and then I can work out the quirks later and try to figure out you know what would go best with other things. How I tried to do it was I tried to take what I made on the first day and what I would have left in leftover ingredients with that I could incorporate into another meal. So ham um, will have leftovers, and I'll chop it up and put it in fried rice and stuff green peppers so that we use all that ham up. But Tuesday we have banana bread for breakfast, chicken sandwich with blueberries for lunch, fried rice for dinner. Wednesday I'll still have banana bread left over so we're going to finish it up. Have PB&J with plain Lay's potato chip chips for lunch, stuffed green peppers for dinner. The following day yogurt with blueberries, hot sandwich with applesauce, baked chicken and roasted cauliflower for dinner, um, Friday morning pears with cottage cheese and toast, turkey sandwich for lunch with some sun chips, sun chips and um, making pizza with a bobbly and m with mushroom and olive. Now, I used to make my um, pizza crust from scratch, the dough, but um, it takes a long time. It's really good, but it takes a long time. So I just buy the Bobolee now because they are soy free, um, most of them, and it makes it a lot easier. Saturday, cold cereal, quesadillas for lunch, and fettuccine for dinner, and then Sunday, eggs and bacon, salad for lunch, and leftovers. So after I wrote out what the meal um, plan was going to be for the week. Then I went over and I listed all the ingredients that I would need to make everything that's on that meal list. Okay? And then what I did is I took it and I cross-referenced it with my pantry inventory list that I filled out last week. So then I knew what I already had out of this list of ingredients. So I went through and checked off everything that we already have at home. So then whatever was left over, I put on to you guessed it, my shopping list. And then I broke it down by store. So these are the things that I still needed to make all of those meals complete. And I ended up spending around $61 total for a family of three for three meals a day. So, oh gosh, I probably should have done the math beforehand. Hold on just a second. Okay, so let's do the math. So there's three of us in the house. We have three meals a day. So let's see here, we would have Three times seven equals 21 meals a week, okay? And there's three of us times three. So we're gonna have 63 meals, and we spent $61 divided by 63. So on average, I spent 96, 97 cents per meal per person this week on food because I already had a lot of the ingredients in the pantry. So that's out of pocket um, what we did this week. 
And then not only did I get everything that was on my list, but I incorporated some additional things. There was a promotion on water and Gatorade at Target, and I picked up a couple of items at Costco, and we got two bags of chips because they were on a great sale, and we also got two packs of butter for $5 that were on sale, and then we had a coupon off. So ended up being pretty good this week, $61 for three of us. And let's see, what really helped was I used coupons. So at Fred Meyers, I spent $41.29 to be exact, and I saved $20.88 in coupons. So that is what I did for meal planning this week, you guys. I obviously hope to get better at this and increase my master meal list so that it'll make it easier for me to have a varying meal plan and learn the ingredients that we need on hand on a regular basis. But I'm really liking this system. I really loved using these sheets, um, these forms, and it made it fun. Um, yeah, so hopefully in future videos I'll start to get more organized and I can show you guys the grocery hauls the same day and then maybe we'll start incorporating the meals that we make. But I've gotta get a lot more organized before I can do that. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one, bye.